Well, I think Atlanta's been great at taking advantage of investments that really have allowed us and empowered us to have exponential growth to occur. One of those being the investment in our international airport. Many years ago, back in the late 60s, early 70s, there was uh, successive investments and relations and partnerships that were struck with the federal government to ensure that our airport really could be a competitive airport, not just throughout the United States, but globally. And that strategic investment has paid off in, in many, many dividends. In addition to that, uh, the leaders here in our city um, came together, Ambassador Andrew Young, the current mayor at the time, Mayor uh, Maynard Jackson, decided to pursue the 1996 Olympic Games, the Centennial Olympic Games, and actually won out with that particular proposal over Greece, which would have been the natural, Athens, Greece would have been the natural proponent. But the amount of investment that the city saw leading up to the Olympic Games from probably 1990 to 1996, so six years in investment and time and energy and resources, and then another 20 plus years of sustained growth on the other side of the Olympics truly uh, has boded well for the city and, and for the entire region and the state and helped us to even build our international brand even further. Um, other successive investments were spinoffs that we've seen and then the recruitment of many firms such as Coca-Cola which grew up out of Atlanta but other companies chose to be here like Home Depot and Georgia Pacific and the Southern Company and many others, Delta Airlines, when they have been strategic in terms of choosing their locations for their headquarters, Atlanta made sure that either we kept them here, we helped them to grow here, or that we recruited them here. And most recent investments have been by Porsche North America and the Mercedes-Benz um, national headquarters. Technology can sound like a big word and can be something that usually people can't grasp. But in the simplest terms, it's just a leap, a very small leap in, in innovation, in uh, improvisation that takes us to another level. And in the case of infrastructure investment, for instance, I've seen here in Atlanta where we made an investment in a stormwater feature that originally would have cost $40 million. It's a stormwater detention facility. And instead of it costing that much, because we had great engineers, we had a great plan, we used our land wisely, we were able to save $17 million. And the investment ended up only being 23. The additional 17 we could leverage and share in other parts of our city. The 40, what turned into $23 million investment was able to catalyze an additional half a billion dollars in growth related to housing, related to job creation, related to new offices and retail spaces. So no matter what you do with the infrastructure, it's going to give a return on investment. But if technology and creative uh, solutions um, around innovation are applied, it could be an even greater uh, return. So infrastructure investments do not have to just be for the big economy and the big business interests and the powerful people. True infrastructure investment that is sustainable will speak to the things that we do not have as renewable resources to the environment. Uh, they will provide for transportation options to those who may not have the ease or the luxury of having a vehicle to get back and forth to work or to pick up their children or to school. Uh, so it, it creates a level playing field, it creates equality, it creates a um, inclusive city and truly the best cities are not just safe and have a lot of growth but they're cities that have inclusion uh, at the heart of everything they do. The big idea to me when you think about sustainability is designing everything with people and their longevity in mind. Anything beyond that is just extra but our longevity is based on clean and safe water, roads and bridges that work, air quality that is at the highest and pristine, land that is not contaminated so that our children can play in the grass and roll in the fields and that nature can continue to proliferate. That's what I think of when I think of sustainability.
The city of Atlanta has a lot to offer to the world. We're the home of Coca-Cola, Martin Luther King Jr., Delta Airlines, and a host of others. But truly when you share, it has to be a two-way street. And our participation in the GFCC is just that opportunity for us to learn as much as we give and for you all to give as much as you learn. We welcome the opportunity.